Hello everyone and welcome to a new quick tip video from Dr. Spotfire. My name is Athira Latar and I'm a lead data scientist here at Spotfire focusing on oil and gas. I would like to talk today about the updates that we have to our automation services feature in Spotfire. So let's imagine a scenario like the following. You have a DXP or Spotfire application and that DXP is accessed by three teams. You have sales team, engineering team and you have an exit team. And this DXP is basically a collection of equipment information that contains failure information and it contains some performance information. And the requirement is to run three data functions depending on an input from the user or from uh, a table and generate three custom reports. And these three custom reports will go to six different geographical areas. So let's see how we can achieve that using the automation services for each feature. The new feature can be accessed by going to Tools, Automation, Tasks, and then you choose for each. Uh, on the right pane, you will see items that you can look through and that can be brought either from an external file or from a manual input where the user can input them. Now, between these for each tasks, you can insert whatever step you want to repeat. Export PDF, run data function or run uh, a Python script. And you can see here we can manually uh, input the, uh, the records that we want to look through. Now I have prepared already a task that contains a couple of uh, items. We can bring it here and you can see here that this is an Aaron Python script uh, inside the loop. So this will be run every time we look through an item. And this is an export report task. And we can see here that the loop items, we have two items here, basically uh, an email, a state, and a team name. So we can use any of these rows uh, as a parameterized input to any of the intermediate tasks that we have. So for example, in the execute script, we can use a state or any other column. In the report, we can see here that we are using the team uh, word to grab the, the report template name. So if we check the reports, we have three reports here. And then each of these uh, three reports is named the same as the input from the items that we're looking through. And that what will enable us to use a parametric uh, approach. So you see here, we are on the task here and we can take a look at the, uh, the exports. So the export should contain uh, three PDF reports of each for uh, a different area. So this is the sales, this is the engineering, and there is also an exit uh, report that we run. Now going back, we can see that there are predefined fields we can use in the for each feature tasks. And we can see also the fields that we have added in the embedded table are also uh, available in the tools uh, menu. Uh, the insert field. So let's try here to add another column, for example, country column, and then to see whether or not that will come in the available fields that we can use directly from the tools menu. So we added the column, we can go to, uh, we can select the task first, and then we can go to tools, insert field, and then we can see that the country field is now available. And if we delete that, that field will go from the, uh, from the tools menu. So we delete the US here and we delete the country column. And if we check back in the uh, tools, uh, we need to select the intermediate task first and then we check back in the tools, we can see that there is no more uh, country field. And then here we can see all the tasks that we can use. Uh, for example, uh, we can also use a parametric data function. So if you have a couple of data functions, we can simply grab their name if the name matches uh, one of the inputs in our intermediate uh, table. That's it for today. Stay tuned for our next tip video. Thank you.